Hey all, just wanted to follow up on yesterday's post about my experience with the benefits of a carnivore diet uh, on craniofacial structure due to the tough but soft nature of chewing meat and how that is a great way to effortlessly incorporate uh, fantastic uh, myofunctional habits into your daily life. Just the process of eating two or three meat heavy meals a day can, can be a fantastic source of stimulation for the craniofacial complex. And I just want to cite a, a, a study referenced by Dr. Michael Gelb in his book, GASP, Airway Health, uh, which is a, a fantastic book uh, that discusses the history and the science of craniofacial deficiency in the West, something obviously we're all interested in. And um, I'll just quote directly from the book. According to researchers such as Boyd and Harvard evolutionary biologist Daniel Lieberman, this soft diet eliminated the natural need for chewing, and this began to change the shapes of our faces, narrowing our jaws and creating restrictions in our airways. Lieberman performed a study on pigs, feeding one group a soft diet and one group foods that were tough to chew. The group that ate tough food developed not only stronger muscles, but also larger jaws, while the group with soft foods developed weaker, smaller jaws. It took only one generation to create these smaller jaws. The theory is that this is what happened to human beings rather than a genetic change in the short span of 10,000 years. An epigenetic effect has occurred because of soft diets resulting in smaller and narrower uh, jaws. Now, of course, this is a concept we all know from Dr. Mike Mew's work. However, this is uh, a scientific study that was performed by a Harvard researcher cited in Dr. Michael Gelb's book. Um, and I, I just thought it was a fantastic, uh, hard scientific data point uh, to bolster the discussion I had yesterday and something we all know intuitively and that makes perfect common sense. Um, but. Um, it's always good to have scientific studies bolstering our ideas. Okay, that's it for now. Um, let me know what other things you'd like me to discuss in the comments section below. If you like what you saw, like the video. And if you want to hear more in the future, subscribe. Okay, talk to you all later. Peace.